Fantastic save for the second touch. Needs to be but saved I love by Bruzy. That. I love that aggression from iIgnite. There's been a couple shots that he's taken. That, Ooh, the, oh, okay. the bump and the quick counter. Let's take another look at this one. You see extra, he missed. I ignite went for the pass to T-Grade. You saw T-Grade just get taken out of the play. Farah jumped in front of that. And Farah has been only for Shosen. That's what he brings to you. Not even necessarily scoring from those sort of plays, but it just means that you've had to spend so many time, so much boost, so many players to get the ball off him, as that's going to be his to turn in. And a beautiful lofted pass from Fruity. You see Farah was trying to harass the goal line. I ignite was far out of the play. All of Monaco was was gone. They were out in Chasset. You could even see him there. If you were in player cam, he took off ball cam, looked around, he saw nothing. He saw nobody. So he knew he could just float into that ball and take the easy goal. Reciprocity. They're looking like uh, the favorites right now, but the response from extra. Well, we've seen Monaco taking a more aggressive stance in this series. Here's the time that they're going to get a benefit for an extra reading the bounce beautifully to turn it in. And that's so important, James. We very... Fruity takes his time, gets another challenge one. All of the work to do for Monaco. Unfortunately, they've got no possession of the ball. Game one for reciprocity. But James Barr, they were co almost obsessed right now with these passing plays as they have been in game one as well. They're trying to go What's for it, but again, it, it gets sniffed out by reciprocity. But extra, <laughs> how does this one weave its way through? You know what? When you're looking for goals and you're desperate for these beautiful passing plays, oh. sometimes it's worth just hitting the ball really hard. And, it, and you could see Ferris the pass off without it being intercepted by reciprocity. And I love the confidence to keep going for it, not getting discouraged. Keep looking for those chances and now off the backboard extra he overpowers the defense extra has been the offense for monaco yeah but as soon as you get that drop down the offense has got so much just read the play we have the wall reciprocity want to make a comeback here it's gonna have to happen soon infield over to chasset 28 seconds on the board can reciprocity get another and again, it's Fruity with these passes. Extra thinks he's going to shoot. You see, he baits Extra into pre-jumping to block the shot. The time off the wall, it's shot set. He's got Tigra to try and beat. A second touch takes him out. Vera off the backboard. Fruity though, too much of an angle for him to deal with. AS Monaco have got us up at one win apiece. And look, gonna be off the wall. Coming into the final minute now. Very tense affair in game three. Monaco know exactly what is on the line for them. They're running out of opportunities to escape Ooh. relegation, but goals like that might be their ticket out. <laughs> Extra does it again. Chassette couldn't get to the backboard in time. Fruity, you could see he was paying Target all game. And what a shot it was indeed. Although they can't afford to let this one drop now. Chassette. He's got time, but he just made it to Telegraph. Follow up, though. Tucked neatly into the corner. Chassette does so well on the challenge. He pokes the ball out, goes for a, a wave dash, and then challenges the ball. It's a perfect kill, and Farah can come in. Chassette for the backboard. Tigre's got him red. Doesn't want to give him any of that sort of chance. Big challenge. He'll be here for Monaco. Low. Extra has to get it and he can't get there in time. Reciprocity on match point. Extra was in the back. 36 boost. He finally picked up a little bit more, but he was slowly meandering in the back half just because the boost starving was so strong. Let I Ignite use up all his boost and try to get that ball over to the sideline. Everyone in the meantime, while he's up in the air for reciprocity, they're grabbing the boost and now we see a quick goal. That didn't take long. Unfortunately for Monaco, this has been a theme throughout their season. They start so well, but they slowly fade as the series go down the middle. It's easily blocked. Yeah, easily blocked by Chassette right down the center of the net. You need to try and find some angles. That's a huge hit. And still Chassette wouldn't go away, but neither would extra. Huge for AS Monaco. I believe it's Extra is the only player to have scored for Monaco. That shot was blocked, but he stays with it. Gets that 
Josette slowly takes his time. It's not a great touch from him, though. Plenty of time for Monaco to set themselves up. Almost too much time. They couldn't quite figure it out. And that's a huge miss as well. Oh, no. Vera, open net! And for Monaco, it could have been any other way, but not like this. He extra is going for corner boost. He thinks that I Ignite is going to get a hit upfield. So extra goes to the corner to get boost. And after that miss, it was too late. Oh, now a kickoff no. off the crossbar. It's not in. But it very easily could have been. And a mistake from Monaco, that might cost them the series. Remember, it was in kickoff goal that opened up this game. Chaussette over the top. Nobody in net. And that could very well do it. Monaco have been valiant, but some of the goals they've conceded just should not have been that way. And and then this was a ceiling pinch from Chaussette. Chaussette getting the ceiling pinch goal. Reciprocity cruising to the win. They can't quite put another. They won't care about that, though. They stay hot on the trail of Mouse Sports, looking for that top four spot.